Part Three of Pamphylia to Amphilanthus. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Elizabeth Clett, Houston, Texas, January 2008. Pamphylia to Amphilanthus by Lady Mary Roth. Part Three, A Sonnet and Six Songs. Sonnet. Let grief as far be from your dearest breast as I do wish, or in my hands to ease. Then should it banished be, and sweetest rest be placed to give content by love to please. Let those disdains which on your heart do seize doubly return to bring her soul's unrest, since true love will not that be loved displease. Or let least smart to their minds be addressed. But oftentimes mistakings be in love, Be they as far from false accusing right, And still truth govern with a constant might, So shall you only wished pleasures prove. And as for me, she that shows you least scorn, With all despite and hate, be her heart torn. Song O oh me, the time is come to part, and with it my life-killing smart. Fond hope leave me, my dear must go, To meet more joy, and I more woe. Where still of mirth enjoy thy fill, One is enough to suffer ill. My heart so well to sorrow used, Can better be by new griefs bruised. Thou, whom the heavens themselves like made, Should never sit in mourning shade. No. I alone must mourn an end, Who have a life in grief to spend. My swiftest pace to wailings bent, Shows joy had but a short time lent, To bide in me where woes must dwell, And charm me with their cruel spell. And yet, when they their witchcrafts try, They only make me wish to die, But ere my faith in love they change, In horrid darkness will I range. Song. Say, Venus, how long have I loved and served you here? Yet all my passions scorned or doubted, although clear. Alas, think love deserveth love, and you have loved. Look on my pains, and see if you the like have proved. Remember, then, you are the goddess of desire, and that your sacred power hath touched and felt this fire. Persuade these flames in me to cease, Or them redress in me, poor me, Whose storms of love have an excess. My restless nights may show for me How much I love. My sighs unfeigned can witness What my heart doth prove. My saddest looks do show The grief my soul endures. Yet all these torments from your hands No help procures. Command that wayward child, your son, to grant your right, And that his bow and shafts he yield to your fair sight, To you who have the eyes of joy, the heart of love, And then new hopes may spring, that I may pity move. Let him not triumph, that he can both hurt and save, And more brag, that to you yourself a wound he gave. Rule him! Or what shall I expect of good to see? Since he that hurt you, he, alas, may murder me. Song I, that am of all most crossed, Having, and that had have, lost, May with reason thus complain, Since love breeds love, and loves pain. That which I did most desire, to allay my loving fire, I may have, yet now must miss, Since another ruler is. Would that I no ruler had, Or the service not so bad, Then might I with bliss enjoy That which now my hopes destroy. And that wicked pleasure got Brings with it the sweetest lot, I that must not taste the best, Fed must starve, and restless rest. Song. 
Love as well can make abiding in a faithful shepherd's breast as in princes, whose thoughts sliding like swift rivers never rest. Change to their minds is best feeding, to a shepherd all his care, who when his love is exceeding, thinks his faith his richest fare. Beauty, but a slight inviting, cannot stir his heart to change. Constancy, his chief delighting, strives to flee from fancies strange. Fairness to him is no pleasure, if in other than his love, nor can esteem that a treasure which in her smiles doth not move. This a shepherd once confessed, who loved well, but was not loved, though with scorn and grief oppressed, could not yet to change be moved. But himself he thus contented, while in love he was accursed, this hard hap he not repented, since best lovers speed the worst. Song Dearest, if I by my deserving may maintain in your thoughts my love, let me it still enjoy, nor faith destroy, but pity love where it doth move. Let no other new love invite you, to leave me who so long have served, nor let your power decline, but purely shine on me who have all truth preserved. Or had you once found my heart straying, then would not I accuse your change, but being constant still, it needs must kill one whose soul knows not how to range. Yet may you love's sweet smiles recover, since all love is not yet quite lost, but tempt not love too long, lest so great wrong make him think he is too much crossed. Song Fairest and still truest eyes, can you the lights be and the spies of my desires? Can you shine clear for love's delight, and yet the breeders be of spite and jealous fires? Mark what looks do you behold, such as by jealousy are told they want your love. See how they sparkle in distrust, which by a heat of thoughts unjust in them do move. Learn to guide your course by art, change your eyes into your heart, and patient be, till fruitless jealousy give leave, by safest absence to receive what you would see. Then let love his triumph have, and suspicion such a grave as not to move, while wished freedom brings that bliss that you enjoy what all joy is, happy to love. End of part three.